cross of Christ gives Christianity and us as the church something to say that changes everything. And the social gospel, by the way, being a good Christian, doing social justice, you put your efforts into that as central, it'll be a burden you cannot bear. To make poverty history is a human fairy tale. It can't be done, it won't be done. Good to care for the poor. Good to go to Zambia for five years. Good thing to do with your life. But do not think you are the saviour of poverty and do not think you're the saviour. The, as Jesus has done that on his cross. The sin, the bigger issue that drives poverty, that drives detention of children, that drives all the issues of our world. And then they change social circumstances, and they change hearts. This shapes everything we do as a church, our gatherings like this, our growth groups, our wonder ones. Are we centrally about the cross of Christ? And perhaps you've been sitting here with us tonight thinking, well, you've been speaking to Reforming Church, but you've not been speaking to me because I'm not a Christian yet, I hope. I'm not a Christian, you might say. I don't call myself a believer. In fact, I've been hearing about all this good Christian stuff, and maybe that's for me. I, I tell you, it's not. You will be exhausted and you'll be burned and crushed. You can't be a good Christian, a social action Christian, to earn that title or earn favor with God. You can't bear that. You need to see this. A woman pours out devotion on Jesus. Jesus celebrates a Passover for us. Christ prepares for the cross on the Last Supper. And with that cross, God's covenant of grace, His blood is poured out for many, for you as propitiation for sin, for you. And the gospel is proclaimed for you. The gospel is proclaimed for you to take it by faith, to be changed by His reforming grace, to be kept in God's covenant, saved and safe. The gospel is proclaimed. So now the opportunity is for you to repent and believe, to rejoice and be living for Jesus. But everything else will change after that. Jesus' death is for you. That's how you take it.